What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Catalina Summit Series 261 BHS. Let's take a look at this thing, but first I want to say thank you for all my subscribers, all the support, and of course, if you're watching my videos over and over again, which a lot of y'all are and you haven't subscribed, it's totally free and of course you can always unsubscribe when you get tired of me later down the road. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Or this. All right, so we have a gray background on the Catalina Summit Series logo, as well as the coachman and the beautiful little Dalmatian. Coming on down, you have your battery disconnect right here. And of course, your batteries would actually be where this uh, jump box is at, so I can light up the RV without plugging it in. You have two 15-pound uh, propane tanks, and then you have your mechanical, or manual rather, tongue jack now we can always replace this with a electric one that's completely up to y'all and then on each corner you do have manual jacks but get a drill with a drill bit and manual just turn into electric so it's not that big of a deal all right coming around we're going to start with this awning this awning is pretty long it does cover the door with the actual window in the center of it and it also tells you what kind of axles we have on here they are dexter axles on this rv i think it's funny where they put that and of course it is led lit unfortunately my little jump box isn't strong enough to power it it is a multi-color so it's rgb so you can change the colors on it you also have jbl speakers on this rv as well as the head unit you can see the speakers right there and then coming back down here, we have our pass-through. And of course, all the lights are gonna be LED on here. All right, we do have our pass-through right here. Unfortunately, this side is locked, and to be perfectly honest, I'm a little lazy to go get the, uh, the keys. So we're gonna go check the other side, which I've already opened up. So it's just a straight pass-through. Plenty of space boxed off from everything else, so that's always nice. But let's go back to the other side and we'll go over the other side. You do get solid steps by Lippert. You have a place to hook up your TV here with the plug right here and a coax right here. You have a six gallon hot water heater. You have a suburban furnace. And then you have your fresh water connection right here. The tires on this are going to be 205-75R15s and they, are, they do have nitrogen in the tires which is always a good thing. Coming on down we have a little bit of a storage right here as well which is going to be under your bunks. You have the Coachman logo right here and then of course you have the Catalina Series Summit Series logo over here very nice you do have a leech latch which is always a plus again 1500 pounds so good for a mid-sized cow you know whatever you got okay so I've learned do not lean on these I was leaning on it while I was showing somebody and I personally broke it actually I don't think I broke it. I just broke the seal on it and it popped off it just needs to be replaced so that's on me I felt dumb because I was showing it to a customer and I, I, I almost face planted straight into the back bumper. So that was 100% on me. But you can see the LEDs. It's crazy how bright those little tiny LEDs are. Little diodes. And it is pre-wired for your backup camera. And of course you have a window for the bunk. Coming down you have your spare tire. And then of course you have the Coachman Catalina series right there as well. And I love this gray color. I love it so much better than just a traditional white. Coming down, this is a 30 amp power supply, cable hookup, and then you have your black tank flush and your city water connection right here. You have your slide. So this is a single slide RV with two nice sized windows on it. And 
and then coming over here we're back to where we were at at the very beginning um, but let's take a look at these specs so each axle is weighted at 3,500 pounds GVWR is 7,646 pounds these tires are rated at a D and then the dry weight is 5,630 pounds and the length of this RV is 30 foot 5 inches so very nice it's been raining as you can tell so i'm going to close all this up so that pretty much covers the outside of this rv if there's any more information you want to know link to my contact information will be down in the description i'm happy to answer any questions but let's go ahead and take a look on the inside all right so we have three steps on the solid step and then the fourth step gets you into the rv Close that door nice and loud. All right, I'm going to step back. We can kind of get a good look at it from a distance. That's that. <laughs> you saw the light flash. That's the uh, the uh, box. It's not really, you know, they're not designed to power an entire RV. So I thought that was kind of funny. So let's just start with the back, work our way to the front. So you have a fairly decent sized shower. I mean, it's tall for sure. Let me put this out of the way. Let me stand in here to give you an idea. So let's see here. There's about five inches above my head. So you could be about six foot two. Let's see here. Yeah, six foot two. Hey, uh, but you have all white. And then of course this is a, I think this is just a plastic uh, shower liner, which isn't bad, especially at this price point. So let's go over here. You have a mirror. Uh, there is nothing behind it or anything, so there's no place to store. You have a plastic sink. And of course, you got like a brushed aluminum look to your faucet. You have a place to plug in and you have your light switch right here. A little bit of storage underneath. And then of course you have a plastic toilet give you a good view you do also have a vent fan which is always nice and of course you have a door to keep this space separated <laughs> and then right next to that you do have your bunks which is fully lit of course and then there's your Oh, that's funny. I don't know what changes. It just all of a sudden gets a boost of power. And then you have USB-A and USB-C plugs right here. And then further down, you have the same light and you also have the same plugs. Very nice. And then you have a little bit of storage underneath as well. Coming to your left, you have a very nice pantry very very deep as well so i mean this is longer than from my elbow to my fingers so you can see how much further space you have so i mean there's about a foot and maybe a little bit over a foot of space deep everything is ge not everything let me rephrase that your refrigerator is ge your air conditioning is general electric as well so that's always nice to have good name brand appliances so nicely lit plenty of space for everything you could possibly need I really dig this and then coming over you have a high point traditional microwave with a spin table you have a lit graystone vent fan see about how loud it gets this might not even be able to get powered up by that jump box. Oh, there it goes. Not loud at all. And then you have a three burner stove. And it is also a Greystone brand. And of course it does light up as well. It does not have an oven. You just get a little bit of storage right here. And then below that you have an auto detect fuse panel now the auto detect means that it can detect whether it's a lead acid battery or a lithium battery 
So obviously, you know, if you change it, you don't have to worry about it. It will automatically detect what you're using. You have storage underneath your sink quite a bit. And this connects to the same exact storage right here. You have a single basin acrylic sink, the same design faucet as in the uh, bathroom or same finish faucet. And then you do have storage above, goes all the way across. So, and then you do have, which I really love having this right here, especially if, because I'm a cooker, so I need place for, you know, a crock pot or something else, you know, and I, I want to keep this separate. And then you have a place to hook up your phone because I, some of the stuff I cook is very complicated and I don't, might not know what I'm doing or I'm just doing dishes and I want something to entertain me. I can just hook up my phone and put it right here and have it directly in front of me while I'm doing dishes. So I really enjoy that. Plus you have a sink that's in the actual kitchen as well. So I just enjoy all this and you do have a little bit of prep space, but to be honest with you, your table isn't far enough to not let it be an area that you could actually prep as well. So it's not like you're, you know, it's not like you're, you have a separate kitchen and a separate place to eat. So you have, you're close enough quarters to do that. Coming around, you do have your control panel, which I love that it, it motion detects. You have all of your tank readings right there. It tells you your battery, like right now it says it's good. Not very good, if I'm being honest. Just a little charger uh, box. Uh, it's Bluetooth capable. You have an interior light switch, an exterior light switch. You have your water pump and water heater. You have your awning extending and retracting. And then you have your slide in and out right there. So it's all right there. And then of course you have your front door. And then coming around right here, you have a place for a TV. So again, they choose not to put a TV because all honesty, RV TVs kind of suck. So it's just easier to just get a TV from Walmart, save a bunch of money and get exactly what you want. You do have a plug HDMI already in there. And then you have your auxiliary satellite cable, all that good stuff. Below you have a place to put a sound bar or speakers or whatever you might need to be able to put in there. You have your JBL head unit, which where's our JBL speakers they are pretty easy to point out because they're black and they have the JBL logo on them. Don't know if you can really see it. There you go. Maybe. And then of course, down below, you have even more storage. You could fit a stand up, you could stand up a, the new PlayStation or the new Xbox in here, no problems. And then you do have more storage down below. I think it's more designed for DVDs on the bottom, but there is options that you can hook up stuff. So that's always nice. Take a look at that area. And then coming to the left, you have a, it's not a trifold couch. It is, it just, it's more like a, you just pull it up and it folds out into your bed pretty easily. And then of course you have storage underneath. Super easy to put it back. I'm, I guess I can do that. One eternity later. All right, there, I put it back and it does have cup holders in it. And then below, it is just held by magnets, as you can see on each edge. Tons of storage underneath. And then coming over here, you have booth style dinette, which is nice. It also turns into a bed, so you could theoretically sleep two, four, six, I'd say one personally, seven, and then the bedroom eight and nine. But technically, if you have kids, you could easily sleep two on there. So, and then this is going to be your main slide, right? The only slide right here. But you have those two big, beautiful windows. <clears throat> and then coming into the bedroom, you have reading lights above the bed itself. And of course, you have a main light here as well. 
you have storage up top as well as a place to hang clothes on each side a wardrobe closet on each side you do have a plug and the USB A and USB C plug as well you can see it over there you have an emergency window right there and then you have a regular window over here which of course you can open them up and get a little breeze and then on each side you do have your privacy curtains so there are no doors on this one but they do have privacy curtains but I would say this is more of a camping RV versus a living but you could live in this no problem I just I, I like it a lot it's it, it's perfect for somebody with kids somebody going camping I mean it can fill a lot of different scenarios all right all right guys I'm gonna go over all the specs right now all right let's go over the specs the length of this RV is 30.42 feet the width is 8 feet, the height is 11.08 feet, the interior height is 6.75 feet. The dry weight is 5,541 pounds, the payload capacity is 2,105 pounds, and the GVWR is 7,646 pounds with a hitch weight of 646 pounds. Your fresh water tank is 44 gallons, your gray water tank is 40 gallons, and your black water tank is 30 gallons. You have two propane tanks that are 15 pounds a piece, so that gives you a combined total of 30 pounds. Your awning is 15 feet in length. This RV claims to sleep 10. I think 9 is more realistic, but everybody's personal situation may vary. You have your air conditioner is 13,500 BTUs, your heater is 35,000 BTUs, and you have a six gallon hot water tank. Back to me. All right guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and the bell notification of course. But until next time, bye.